Hey legends, what's up? It's your boy VNC Mega Viper and today I will help you reach your highest rank possible in Apex Legends. So let's go to King's Canyon. So as I said, this, this pit is on King's Canyon, so this map is very small and not well balanced for ranked. So that means every time you start a fight, half of the map probably hurt it, so you need to finish your fights fast, like very fast or probably like 4 teams will show up. And with the rank system right now, it's meaningless to fight till like 12 squads left. And But if you do happen to, you know, run into a team and don't have a choice other than fight them, do finish it quickly. And I'll leave a link down in the description on just how to do it. So please check that out. Moving on to number two is, of course, landing spots. That's, that's the start of your game, man. It's the most important. It's the most important. So KC is a small map, but still you don't want a hot drop in higher ranks, trust me. I got pretty trashy randoms and they just hot dropped and 48 minus, you know, right off the bat. So, but where is good to drop right now? And honestly, it depends on the position of the dropship and the map itself, you know, and uh, often it's nice to land somewhere like caustic treatment or crypto's house or broken relay maybe the rig sometimes but that's just the outskirts you know you need to land somewhere like on in center centered you know and uh try to find a space like market or skull skull town but like i said caustic treatment not more than two squads because that's a pretty big chance you're gonna get you're gonna be caught in the storm and that's not good there's good loot there and available rotations um crypto's house is pretty much the same just a little less loot and uh yeah rotation still the same don't go there with more than one squad it's freaking pointless but now you know where to land and you know how to fight but with which gun that's man you know you won't punch people so yeah there is a lot of guns in Apex, but there are some exceptions when it comes to guns. I like to use Volt, G7, PK, R301, or like an R9, Longbow. It really depends on what my team is going with, you know, if they're going with a sniper, I'm not gonna go with a PK and freaking Volt, you know, that's brain dead. But which combos are good and how, where are my... You know, recommendations. For long range, I like to use Longbow Vault, Sentinel, R301, or something like that. Something on close and long range. On mid range, I like to use G7s, you know, Marksmen's, not Snipers, because Snipers, come on, really aren't that good when it comes to close range. If you are a freaking trickster and uh, trick shotter that is a completely different scenario take a sniper you know but for close of course you won't take the sniper and pk volt r9 r301 something like that you know but in order to know that you need to know your freaking play style if you don't know your play style you know check some videos out if you want me to do a video on play styles just leave a comment down below i will gladly do it you know it's my it's my passion to help you guys and but like if you are a very aggressive person like me go close range but don't push solo please like just check out my fighting guide uh, down in the description please check it out because you know you don't want to be caught out into the in the open alone you know, trust me, it's it's not good. But other than that, let's let's be honest. Hard hitting truth is, there is so many people using snipers and marksmen. There's there's everyone's using snipers and freaking marksmen. So you need to adjust your playstyle to that. You know, and if you can beat them, just join them. So try to drop safe. That that's my recommendation. Try try to drop safe. You know, maybe, maybe, just maybe if you're confident in your team and your fighting skills. Contest a team like early, but I don't recommend it. Like in bronze or silver, it's not that big of a deal, even if you die. But in diamond or above, or even in platinum and, and above, if you die of drop, that's gonna leave a mark. I'll tell you that. 
So my recommendations are drop safe, loot up, you know, don't go fighting with a freaking Mozam. If you have a hammer point, okay, go. But you know, you know what I mean, you just need to loot up and have guns that are comfortable for your playstyle, for your gun skill, for everything. If you, if, 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 if you decide to run Spitfire and I, I beg you, don't. It's very annoying and let me tell you, Spitfire's belonging care package, man. It's, it's too powerful. But I don't know, I will end the video right here and if you enjoyed it, you know, please check out how to win every single fight, you know my fighting guide please it will help you a lot i hope i put a lot a lot of work into this video and the fighting guide so please if you if you really really liked and enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe and turn on those post notifications you know it and good luck in your apex grind to freaking predator let's go good luck